So uh, I was reading the headlines today, um, obviously in the state of Texas, the Texas Senate uh, committee uh, meeting that took place, the fourth video or a video or some videos were, were given to the AG, Ken Paxton, and what all of this is revealed. And this, I, because I, this happened when I was on air for my radio program, and I had no words. The One of the Houston Planned Parenthood clinics was ma is making $120,000 a month, particularly from the sale of, of this these harvesting of, of, of infant organs? Yeah, that is the that is the Houston Mega Clinic of Planned Parenthood of the Gulf Coast in Houston, Texas. That is a six story tall abortion clinic. Uh, it used to be a former bank. It's located in, in Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas, and they have been uh, selling aborted fetal tissue out of that clinic. Uh, that affiliate has been involved in the sale for over 10 years at this point. And so this is 1.4 million just for that clinic alone annually. The, the research department at that, at that affiliate has been contributing majorly to the bottom line of that organization for many, many years. How much would you, do you estimate or do you know that Planned Parenthood makes off of this harvesting of infant body parts, I mean, from all of their clinics across the country, how much would they rake in nationally? I mean, if this clinic's up a million and a half, that's insane. It's a, it's a really good question, one that needs to be answered. The short answer right now is we don't know, and we don't have a good way of knowing, because Planned Parenthood's baby part sales are buried so deep down within their organization that some of the national leadership doesn't, of Planned Parenthood doesn't even fully know the scope of it. Um, the, uh, the national office has been for many years now has actually chosen to have a don't ask, don't tell policy about the fetal tissue sales of the affiliates in order to basically try and keep themselves out of it, keep themselves, in themselves insulated from it legally, even though, you know, they're mm -hmm. still aware of it. The, the, maybe the kind of, the answer that we do know right now is that definitely one high volume Planned Parenthood clinic can easily make at least $100,000 a year off of the sale of baby parts, if not more. And the fact that we don't know these answers, that there is no transparency, is unacceptable just with this particular aspect of the story alone, because this is a group, and we've talked about it on this program, that receives hundreds of millions exactly. of taxpayer dollars, and there's no accountability. Yep. Yeah, no, there, there's no there's no accountability, and uh, and so that's why it's very good that just today now the grand total of states that are that have opened up investigations into Planned Parenthood's baby part sales within their jurisdictions, that number is now up to ten. Uh, the floor the governor of Florida just announced today an order for their health department to investigate all 16 Planned Parenthood abortion clinics in the state. So that brings the total up to 10 different states now that are now taking action, plus the three different congressional committees that have opened up investigations into Planned Parenthood's baby part sales. And the, the clock is running out on the time now when Planned Parenthood should be producing their senior director of medical services, Dr. Deborah Nukatola, to testify before the House Energy and Commerce Committee about Planned Parenthood's fetal tissue sales. They're stalling right now and they're trying to replace her with someone else, but truly the senior director of medical services is the one who knows uh, no pun intended, where all the bodies are buried when it comes to Planned Parenthood's fetal tissue sales. So she's the one who should be testifying. And she was the one who ba who started, the, got the ball rolling on the discussion as well as to the profits of this. And and I know that this, this doesn't even seem to be an argument that Cecile Richards or anyone else in Planned Parenthood wants to take up because that's been blown all to bits. Uh, that this is, this is a for-profit, which is a felony. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a federal level felony and this is an issue that Planned Parenthood is completely unprepared to address in public. This is something that they've hoped that they could do out of the back doors of their clinics very quietly, very secretly, and nobody would ever find out. This was the last thing that they were expecting to be exposed on and the last thing that they were prepared to have to talk about in, for in public. And they were supposed to, from what I understand, supposed to uh, testify as well before the Texas Senate today. And once they found out that Ken Paxton, A.G. Ken Paxton, had this video uh, from Center for Medical Progress, they, they didn't show up. They didn't show up to testify. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised because at the end of the day, there's really nothing that they can say in their defense. Already just in the first week of our release of this project, Planned Parenthood in their press statements admitted pretty much all the things that we were claiming. Number one, they admitted that they harvest baby parts. Number two, they admitted that they receive payments in connection with that. And number three, they admitted that they support that and know about it at the top levels of the national organization. So the only bone of contention from them was that they don't receive a financial benefit for it, but the, the, the 
facts that are coming out from the different middleman companies like Stem Express and Novagenics and the other statements from other Planned Parenthood officials are officially putting that lie to bed now.